what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm shantini and you're watching the girl girl's diary so i'm back again with another planner setup video now this is gonna be my goal setup video so i'll just dive right into the point this is how i set up my goals so, so every year i just go on to my planner and reflect back on my that year's goals and whatever i have achieved what i have not and i rate myself out of 10 and then i move forward and see what goals i need to carry forward and what new goals i need to make till this year 2022 i was setting goals in a very general way like i used to make two parts personal and professional so that was my thing but this year i am planning to do it in a level 10 goal setup method which means i'll set 10 particular focus areas or goals and i'll set top you know, like three goals for each setup It's gonna be a lot of goals, but they will be at least divided into particular like sets and particular areas, which will be very easy for me to understand. I believe because see, if you write thirty goals for a year, it will seem like a lot of task. But if you divide thirty goals into a group of threes, then it seems very doable, right? Three goals per focus area. So I have done the preliminary walk for this one because I was not really comfortable in showing my this year's planner. because a it had some really personal things written there b because i didn't maintain it fully to be honest like if i have to rate myself for maintaining that journal i would rate 5 out of 10 because it was a very on and off thing so i have been through my planner and i have reflected back on all the things that i wanted to achieve and didn't and all of that but i just couldn't find anything that i want to carry forward other than my health goals So I have jotted down all my goals for this year on this my work planner for or journal for this year. So these are all the things that I have jotted down. Some are really personal. Some I can show you. I can I'll show you whatever I can. But I'll tell you the ten focus areas or ten particular sections that I have divided my goals into. And those are number one, health and fitness. Then career. Then finance. Then content creation. Then relationships. Work life balance. Spirituality. Self care. Mindfulness and personal development. and these are in no particular order now what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow this like rough sketch of my goals and we'll jot it down here as i was saying that i have already written my goals here so i'll just give you a slight glimpse of whatever i can so i have come with the 10 level 10 goals at this time these are mostly the goals that i will be doing so now i'll just keep this one open here and we'll jot down from here to this one so let's begin the goal setting journey so i'm just going to be using these to this page and this page for my goal setting and these are my vision boards if you haven't watched the vision board video the link will be in the description and also in my i card go and watch the video now, this page is these two pages i don't know how much of it you can see but these are very you know subtle colors very light colors so i want to use some stickers so let me go through my sticker book and see what i can use yes i think i want to use one of these So I'll start with the words of the year, and I have three for this year: It's transformation, growth, and consistency. Well, I need to do all three of them, and I couldn't decide which one I want, so I'm just gonna stick to all the three. For previous year, it was mental peace, which I think, if I have to rank out of ten, I had achieved around six or six point five, so pretty good. Even though I really had a rough year, so I'm just using this art line pen, and it's a fine tip pen. I'm gonna use my normal handwriting. nothing fancy and i'm going to write words for 2023 and we'll let it sit for some time so i went ahead and wrote transformation growth and consistency in bold letters and now i'm just going to use another one of these stickers and write my goals for 2023 i got this in this sticker book by alicia susa i got this along with my planner for this year so now i'm just going to use my pen and write goals here and i'm going to use this signature pen by artfine so now i'll just take my work journal for this year where i have jotted down all the goals that i need to write here but since these are very personal to me i don't think i'll be able to show you all the goals but i'll definitely show you how i went about it so i'm just gonna have it open on my side and we'll continue with filling up this one So 
finally my goals page are ready for the starting i have words for 2023 and i have written the words previously i have written with green pens but wo thode dull lag rahe the so i changed it to black and then there's goal for 2023 and the reason why i have hidden this part is because these goals are very personal and something that i'm not comfortable sharing but i'll tell you the headers that i have so the headers are health and fitness career and finance now let's move on to the other page here this one i can share so for the fourth one i have content creation and yes i have written have 10k subs on youtube and 10k followers on instagram i know it's a very big dream but i'm ready to work for it and let's see what happens now and the last one i have written is find my niche and the reason why i have written this is because i love a lot of things and i love doing a lot of things like mujhe vlogging karna bhi acha lagta hai mujhe art and craft bhi acche lagte hain and then makeup videos bhi acche lagte hain so i don't want to be all around everything but rather i want to find a particular niche maybe one or maximum two for both youtube and instagram then my relationships is this is something that i believe learn to accept people as they are i have this habit that sometimes i really want to change people especially people who are very close to me so that's i feel like it's quite toxic i also find my soulmate i think i have been single for far too long at this point and someone would be helpful then we have the work life balance it says weekly digital detox i really want to take one day off of all my gadgets and all my social media and then quarterly semi long trips i do want to go for long trips this year so let's see how that happens and what happens and also no work on sunday because i want to keep my sundays as my reset days and also my you know room cleaning and stuff and laundry days so yeah i want to keep sundays as my reset days and then spirituality for that i have written meditate 10 minutes daily and then practice yoga for self care i want to dedicate particular morning and night routine and follow that rigorously and then weekly self care ritual so till diwali i had a particular you know skin care routine weekly and i used to put uptan every sunday but that was till diwali i believe then i haven't followed that much so i want to bring that back i want to have a positive approach when i talk to myself this is something that i really like and then for mindfulness i only had one thing so i have written only one goal and that's weekly self reflection and the reason i have written that is in black is because ye picture ki wajah se yahan pe red samajh mein nahi aa raha tha so and then for the last personal development i have written read one book a month and i feel like this is very doable for me because i love reading then learn new skills digitally i was learning photography and digital marketing via skillshare and youtube and google but it was very on and off but i want to make it a habit and do it and then be happy in my skin as much as i say that i love myself sometimes i get really bad and i don't love myself which is something that i want to change so i hope you loved the video i hope you loved my process of setting goals and also so my previous video where i have set my vision board and i hope you're making your own vision board and setting your own goals for this year don't over exert yourself if you don't have any goals per focus area that's fine even if it's one if you have 10 goals for the year that's okay too just set your goals even if they feel like unachievable just do it just go and just you know make the goals until unless you make your goals and you have them written in front of you and you see them your brain won't be able to process your brain will be like agar aapke dimag mein wo baat hai and you're like oh no i have them in my mind yeah of course you have them in your mind your mind also has a gazillion of other things and it will forget and you will forget and by the time it's like half of the year and you'll be like yaar yaar maine to kuch bhi nahi kiya abhi jo bhi maine goals apne dimag mein banaye the nahi dimag mein mat banao even if you don't have a planner like this and you don't have any fashionable accessories and stationery is fine you do have a notebook right ya wo bhi nahi to classmate ka jo notebook milta hai na wo le kar aao and write in that even if you don't have that just take a notepad write in that notepad and paste that picture somewhere where you can see so set your intention straight and make your goals and i hope you love the video if you do do hit the like button comment share and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll come back tomorrow most probably with my january setup video till then take care Bye bye